What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Invisible Ink. In the previous episode, I had been very anxious, we had almost gotten killed. One of our guys did in fact get killed, we lost a third of our team trying to infiltrate, I don't know, what was this company called? It was like something and something, it was something in Odin. But anyways, this, today we're going to be infiltrating Plastech, which is floor number four. It's weird that all of these corporate entities, heavily armed, occupy the same building. You'd think that they had the ability to hire these Blackwater-esque armies, they could at least afford their own buildings or something, but... I get the distinct feeling this is probably going to go incredibly poorly, so come with me as we absorb bullets in the most stealthy way possible. So we've got the Psy Core on this channel, or I'm sorry, on this level. Basically, they psionically scan for intruders and they link with you. I've never actually been caught by one of these guys, so I couldn't tell you 100% what they do. They put out like these little purple fields all around them, and as long as you don't step in them, it seems to be okay. I've never screwed up and stepped in one, so I'm not really sure what happens if you do that. We'll hijack the console for free. Oh my god. Alright, so we will just stay where you are. Yeah, that's, ex that's always worked. That seems to come up a little bit too often when you're hacking consoles. I'm gonna be super honest, like, we are... If you're a master hacker like Dr. Peddler, then why does that come up so often? But it, maybe that's just one of those questions that only I ask. Our tracker is now up by one because I don't feel like bribing this idiot. So, we'll just continue along our ma- Oh, there's another console down here. Hmm. Maybe I will investigate that, and by investigate that, I mean scoop its digital goodies into my backpack as fast as I can. Oh, we've got a Psy guy coming in. And there's a sound bug in the room. That's no bueno. I think I should be able to hijack that without problems. So, you see this little field right here? Like, basically, they walk around and they create this ambient field of just psychic noise, and something bad happens if you step in it, and I don't know what. I'd rather not test the hypothesis, to be honest. Let's open this up, since everybody's already positioned. We'll peek it. We found a safe. The room is also actually looking like a pretty good hold-up spot. Corporate safe right there, we have nine CPUs. Hopefully he doesn't come in the room. I didn't see- oh, he dropped one over there. So I think it's if you end your turn inside their little purple thingy, they mind link you or something like that. Basically, because he places it at the beginning of each turn, and I know you just don't want to be inside of it. It just seems threatening. For a pastel color, like when I think pastels, I think Easter. Like things that are generally considered to be non-threatening. However, in the case of this game, they seem to have ruined pastels for me forever. Let's move into this room. Wait, there's a sound bug? That's not good. There's a security program open on this computer. Either activate the program, which means don't collect the CPU points, or we can... Yeah, hack it. The program window closes with a catchy trumpet chime. Hooray! And also, I like it when the arrival of my CPUs is heralded by music. I don't know, it pleases me. I should probably turn off the sound bug. I think it only counts if you run inside the room or something like that, but... I'd still rather not take the chance. I think I've gotten caught by sound bugs even while sneaking before. We've got extra... Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of patrols in here. We probably won't mess with that room for right now. Let's go ahead and end our turn. That's gonna turn on cameras. So obviously we're gonna have to use some CPUs right there. Let's take Dr. Peddler. We'll set him up at this position to... Oh, he can't open the door. Well, let's open the safe. Because we are low on loot right now and we need goodies. The only way to open this door is from directly in front of it, which makes me really nervous. That's bad, because that means when I open it, everybody's just going to be like, Oh, hey there, buddy! And all the trench coats and fedoras in the world aren't going to save us if we're just standing there. Okay, so psychic nonsense has been dropped on top of us. You would assume Dr. Peddler would be immune to being psychically, link psychically linked up with, but I don't know. We're gonna peek that right there, and then retreat, I think, back to this room and we'll check this door. Basically, we just need to get out of that little psychic hub. It acts as a corralling mechanism. Essentially, it herds you around and forces you to search things in an order you don't really want to. It's really, it's an interesting gameplay mechanic. I mean, the developers are definitely thinking of ways to influence the way that the game proceeds. And that would be one where it basically gives a blanket of cover for the other guys so that we can't move around. Now over here we'll open this door. We want to be careful because with our forces depleted... So they're safe over here. I don't know if I want to drop CPUs on it just yet. We'll do it. 
We've got a system lockout demon, which means that until we get rid of that, we can't open up consoles. So we'll just get rid of it now so that we can account for the CPUs we do have. 400 credits right there. We do have money for bribes as it stands. I was hoping that this would connect to right here. Oh, well, we'll send Decker back. So we need the Aura Virus now. Decker has been psychically found one more time. God, they are blacking out huge areas. And they've also cut us in half now. This is an issue. That's actually a really, really wide space. I don't know if that's two guys that are doing the same thing, but, you know, for whatever reason, this is quite cumbersome. We don't have the manpower now for a frontal assault, which is when we had when we had Shalom or Shamal or I forget what his name is anyways. But when we had that guy, we had the manpower to actually be in a stand-up fight. As it stands right now, we do not have that advantage any further, and so we really just kind of have to rely on stealth again like we did in the first couple levels. Let's send Decker this way to clear out rooms because we still have to find the Aura Virus. We need a pass key to get into here. I should have used his scanning ability, then I would have known that this was here and I could have saved my own time. We'll hijack it from there though. We'll step him to this way. And I think that we'll get rid of that noise bug there. And we'll make a beeline for this area. Given that we aren't really having a lot more options. Move over to there. His run is not going to get him far enough. So that was a waste of my time. He's actually kind of pinned right now. He can't really go anywhere else. So basically, it's area of denial. It's almost like mental artillery, I suppose. It blocks off entire areas so that you can't really proceed against them in any real sense. The sound bug has been disabled. I'm going to get him to run. I don't think they can hear it through doors, but we need to get clear of that area over there. It might be worthwhile taking a look at the store to see what they have. Alarm link, what does this do? Advances the tracker by three points when the program finishes. Okay, so basically we have to get rid of that. We'll open up the store. There's a junker pistol with one bullet so that we can murder a dude if we need to. He's got a shock trap and a cloaking rig. We need to leave a slot for Shalem. There we go. I got the L's and the M's in the wrong spots. I suppose that I could get... What does Decker have? I mean, I'm taking too much time right now, but... He's got nothing, so it might be worthwhile to set him up with something a little bit better. And that was actually a waste of my time. I shouldn't have left Peddler right there. Especially considering at any point they can drop these psychic bombs wherever they want. That's just a dead room? Okay. Oh, did I put him inside a psychic link area? Let's take him right outside of it. And we'll take Dr. Peddler down. We're almost at rank 3, which means they're about to breach through here, so we gotta get out of this. This room we need to get out of at the bare minimum. We've got heavy security guard right here. It looks like on the next turn, I don't know if he's going to investigate us. Oh, it's because the door opened. Okay, so let's close the door. Stepped right there. We'll shock trap the door. Disable that camera. And we've got a lockout demon. Consoles are locked while this is in effect, so we've got three turns. We'll wait that one out. That's okay. And then I also need to move him one step to the side so this guard doesn't see him when we go through. We'll get him up against the wall. We need to come up with some way to disable this guy. He's just normal security, though, so maybe I can shoot him. We'll see. Bzzzt. Down he goes for six turns. That activate that guard. Yeah. 
He's actually not even looking this direction. I may be able to get the peddler in here to take him out. So there it is. The takedown is done. We found the pass card for that room over there, but I'm not sure it's going to be accessible. This also acts as a method for them to flush you off of any of their guys that have been trapped down. Who is walking over to here? Is there any door right there? I mean, I don't know if there is, but I would prefer that there be. Still not really going to help us. Yeah, I think we're hosed. They just have so many guys. Oh, and I quit on top of a psychic zone, too. Yep, I'm bowed. Okay. Well, take up cover wherever you can. I mean, this is likely the end, I think. Guards coming in from both sides. Shoot you. Becomes an issue. About to get shot, too. Yeah, we're surrounded. I think this is the end. Unfortunately, I wish you had a little bit more ordinance in this game. Like, not enough to unbalance it, but I do feel like the difficulty is pretty high with the way the game is set up at the moment. We've got a hundred bucks right there. I can cloak him and come out over here. Oh, really? Wow, that was a long shot. Alright, so that appears to be, unless those were knockout bullets, I mean, we're already down, so let's see what happens here. Oh, there it is. And so that was Invisible Ink. If you'd like me to do more runs, let me know down below. I'm not very good at the game, but I still do have fun playing it. The difficulty is incredibly high. That is one of the things that I have noted about this game is that your chances of making it to level 10 are pretty much nil. I've watched a number of people play the game, and even people who are much better than I am, and they don't seem to fare very well either. So maybe I've just seen the wrong videos, but the game is hard. It's a it's a tough level, or I mean, I'm sorry, it's a tough game. So Invisible Incorporated by Clay, uh, Clay Entertainment. If you want to purchase the game, look down below for all of the goodies that you will require to get the game on Steam or through the developer's website. You get two copies when you buy it, so you can buy one and then give it to a friend. So that's kind of cool. They give you a two-for-one deal like they did with Don't Starve back in the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Invisible Incorporated. One more time, if I get enough comments down below... I'll continue to do this series. If I find that it's not very popular, we'll just move on to something else. That's basically, if I know you guys want it, I'll do like another run because I know we only got like four episodes out. So doing eight to ten might be a little bit of fun. But anyways, let me know how you feel about this series, whether or not it's something that interests you all. And if yay, then we will do another run. If nay, then we will move on to greener pastures. Take care out there, everybody.